Many parts of automatic transmission require a continuous supply of fluid under pressure, normally provided by a fixed displacement pump. Transmission oil pump is designed to provide fluid to lubricate the planetary gear set. To provide continuous fluid to the torque converter. To provide a volume of fluid to the clutches and brakes. To supply operating pressure to the hydraulic control system. To provide support for the torque converter stator shaft, as well as the front of planetary gear set. Transmission oil pump is driven by the torque converter when the engine is running. The pump driving member is engaged by tangs on the impeller hub or machine flats or by slots. In some automatic transmissions, the pump has driving gear engaged by gear on impeller hub. The oil pump is driven by the torque converter. The center drive gear is driven by the torque converter drive hub. The external teeth of the drive gear mesh with the internal teeth of the driven gear, causing it to rotate in the same direction. Located between the two gears is the crescent, which separates the inlet of the pump from the outlet. As the gears rotate in a clockwise direction, a low pressure develops on the inlet side of the pump as the gear teeth move away from each other. On the other end of the crescent, the gear teeth come together forcing the fluid through the outlet. Check side clearance of both gears. Place a straight edge across the pump housing and drive and driven gear. Measure the clearance between the straight edge and each gear using a feeler gauge. If the clearance is greater than the maximum, the gears should be replaced. Check pump body clearance of driven gear. By pushing the driven gear to one side and measuring the clearance between the gear and the pump body on the opposite side. Check tip clearance of driven gear. Measure between the driven gear teeth and the crescent shaped part of the pump body. If the clearances exceed the maximum specification, replace the pump subassembly.